So we just testing everything today. We just, we testing a new primer and a new foundation. We getting real adventurous today. Hey loves, welcome back to another episode of Foundation Friday. I know I did not post one last week. I had a lot going on, but because of that, I will be posting today's Foundation Friday as well as another foundation tomorrow on Saturday so that I can make up for missing last week. See, I got y'all. I be thinking about y'all. I really look into a lot of the foundation that you guys recommend so that I can always make sure I'm keeping up with the newest foundations as well as foundations that you guys also want to see. So the star of today's episode is uh, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, but I got a little sample size. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I was in Sephora, I recently just went on a fucking Sephora spree. I'm also on a no buy for this paycheck because I'm saving up. There's a lot of stuff that's about to come out for the holidays and you know fall and everything. So I'm trying to save my money for that. So I got a sample size of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the shade 29 Truffle. This foundation comes in 30 different shades with 29 Truffle being the second darkest shade gotta do better you gotta do better um, this foundation also retails for $34 in Sephora the foundation boasts to be full coverage good for all skin types sensitive normal combo oily and dry it delivers a matte finish with an SPF of 20 and it also says it's a 24 hour breathable full coverage natural matte liquid foundation blurs pores and imperfections while improving your skin's condition all with a soft focus natural matte finish we gonna see also with my sample of the bare minerals foundation I also got a sample of the cover FX mattifying primer okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use this primer it's so lightweight and velvety it does blur my pores as well as the Becca primer and since this is a new primer I do want to see how it performs on its own so usually when I use my Becca ever matte poreless primer I like to set it with powder but this time I'm not gonna set it with powder because I want to see how it holds up on its own so we just testing everything today we just we testing a new primer and a new foundation Ooh, we getting real adventurous today so I'm gonna go ahead and my little sample truffle should be a good match for me though this is not looking too red or anything on me so so far so good it's kind of hard to blend out it doesn't blend as smoothly as other liquid foundations. The color match is a little off, but I think once I highlight, contour, and then I set it, it should be alright. As much as I like for my hyperpigmentation and you know my dark spots, whatever, I like for them to be completely covered in order to consider a foundation full coverage. This isn't necessarily doing it. I also wouldn't recommend trying to build this up to even more coverage only because it doesn't blend as well as I would like for it to. It kind of sets in place, it doesn't really move as well as you think it should. Okay, so here's my finished face. Um, I used a little too much setting powder. I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I think in the viewfinder, I have like kind of like a white cast. I hope it's just the setting powder and it's not the foundation. But here's my finished face. So we're just gonna rock this foundation for the rest of the day and see how this goes. So the time now is uh, 5.15, so I'm just gonna wear this. I'll see you in a few hours and I'll let you know how everything holds up. So it's almost midnight and yeah, I am a freaking grease ball. A couple things I notice about this foundation is it's it feels so heavy and it's not even like super super full coverage. 
So that's already one strike. Another thing is that when I was trying to apply it, it was like, it was hard to blend. So that's strike two. I did set the foundation with the Laura Mercier powder, but I didn't do my normal trick of setting the primer with the translucent powder because I am trying out a new matte primer. So what I'm gonna do is try it again tomorrow, use my regular tried and true Becca Ever Matte Primer and also set the primer with a translucent powder. And hopefully I will not still look like this because this amount of oil could be from using a new primer or it could be just the foundation acting crazy. I don't know, but I'm gonna give this foundation another shot tomorrow and then I will give you my final, final, final thoughts. See you tomorrow. Hey y'all, so it is day two of me testing out this foundation, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the shade 29 Truffle. Now, like I told y'all yesterday, I got a sample size and I don't have a whole lot left. So, I don't know how this is gonna work out today. I'm gonna do the best I can with the little tiny bit of foundation I got left, but damn. It is what it is, we gonna make it work. So I've already primed my face. Today I'm using the Bare Mineral, um, no, not Bare Minerals, uh, the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, which is my holy grail primer that I use in every single foundation video. And I also set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put this the, this last little bit of this foundation on my face and hopefully I can get some good coverage with it and we'll just see how it works out today. Okay, so I have set my face and put my foundation on. I'm not gonna do anything else to my face, you know, like concealer or whatever like that, cause I really wanna see how this foundation will hold up again today using a different primer technique underneath. So the time now, oh, 2.10 p.m. And I'll come back in about eight, seven or eight or so hours. I'm not really going anywhere today, I'll just be chilling around the house so I'll come back in about eight hours and I will let you know my final final thoughts on day two of testing out this Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation so I'll see you in a few hours. The time is now a little bit after 11 p.m. and I am back and my face it's been nine hours I'm not feeling this foundation this foundation gets a freaking huge thumbs down from me. It looks horrible, first of all. Y'all see how bad this looks, right? Now my face compared to yesterday. Yesterday I did not set my primer and today I did set my primer. Y'all know that that's like my foolproof method for staying matte all day and for whatever reason, I'm not matte, like at all. It's not. This is not a horrible amount of oil, but the thing is, I've been in the house this entire time, nine straight hours, I've been in the house in the AC, and there's no reason that my face should be this oily, okay, even for nine hours. So, and not only is it starting to settle in my like laugh lines, but it's also, um, also it's like magnifying my pores, like, this foundation is like just sitting on top of my face and for nine fucking hours, like I've been working and I've been like doing homework and stuff and like the entire time, like I can just feel something on my face and I just wanna like rub my face and I just wanna get this shit off of my face. It does not feel good, it's cakey. It looks like I caked on layers of foundation on my face and I definitely did not. It's a no for me. I'm not feeling this foundation. The price point is $34. It's damn sure not worth $34. Sorry, Bare Minerals. Mm -mm. No. And then also yesterday, I also noticed that it settled into my, uh, it also settled into my laugh lines yesterday and I only had it on yesterday for like, what, seven hours? 
and today I've had it on for nine and it settled in my lash line sooner today than it did yesterday. My pores look the same today as they did yesterday, so I'm 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 good. I'm good on this foundation. Not feeling it, wouldn't recommend it. Don't waste your $34. So thanks for joining me for this episode of Foundation Friday. I'm sorry this was a fail, but uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one. Bye.